what's up everybody welcome to another video today we're racing at Aztlan uh, 250c Moto 1 and the gate is about to drop yeah that guy to the left came way over slowed up and then I locked my brakes up trying not to run anybody over and I stalled my bike so I had to sit here at the start, starting there for a while. Pretty much everybody got going. I think I was dead last off the start. But that's okay. This is also kind of my first time on a 250. I, uh, just purchased this bike on Friday and this race was on uh, Sunday and I didn't really get to ride it much Saturday just a little bit but not not very much to get used to it it's my first time ever riding at this track too and uh, I'm not really used to ruts my practice track is kind of at a sand track and ruts are a huge struggle here especially how muddy it is you can see everybody getting stuck up and it was kind of a mess, but I made it work. And um, Open Sea was actually the first class that I was in, but I forgot to turn my GoPro on for the entire thing. So um, 250C Moto One was the really the only one, or the first one that I remember to turn my GoPro on for. Man, I did not see that guy. I just about went right into him. And I made a mistake going into this rut. You can see how long it is. It's, I really struggle with my balance when the rut's that long. It's hard to keep the bike up straight. And you can kind of see water sitting in some places. It was super muddy. It rained pretty hard all night. And man, I wasn't ready for the mud either. On a track I'm not familiar on, familiar with. I had never ridden this track before that day. And went straight out to a mudder, so. It was all new to me. But it was still a lot of fun. These ruts were so challenging though. Man, they were challenging. But I absolutely loved this 250. Um, typically I ride my, uh, my KX 450. And uh, before I bought this 250, that was my only race bike. So that was the only thing I was used to. Saw the, the yellow flag was waving there. I didn't know if somebody crashed on the downside of the landing so uh, that's why I went really slow over that jump I didn't want to hit somebody but it turns out the guy went down in a corner and you can see just how much speed I lose in these corners because of the ruts like, I was so scared I was scared to hit this jump too like, I was afraid of it early on and I was afraid of it for the rest of the day See me go way lot wide there like the ruts kind of stay inside and i was just staying way outside just because that rut was so deep and uh in the long run like, it hurt me a lot going outside of that rut i should have just made it work but i didn't i was kind of scared same thing with these jumps too like they weren't that bad but i wasn't just like sending them that one i cleared all right but there like right when I got on the gas there I was starting to get more comfortable on the bike starting to get used to it a little bit starting to have a little more fun just slowly catching people because I came in dead last off the start so there was a lot of people in front of me that I was catching but like like right there I wasn't on the inside rut so I couldn't really get around this guy and I wasn't really fast enough to anyway so just made progress slowly as time went on so I was still kind of learning the track too. This was really only my third time total being out on the track. And the first time I was out was for practice, and it was we were the first practice session out, so there was no ruts, nothing. It was just a plain track. You'd kind of go wherever you wanted, so I really wasn't ready for these ruts when I went out here. I never did hit this jump. It's uh, being at that much of an angle there, I just couldn't figure it out. And this jump, I definitely had the speed for, but 
I was just afraid of it. But uh, that's really my only excuse. I was afraid of it. I had the speed and I definitely had the ability to hit it. I just never did. The track was fun though. I think, and now looking back, like the track was actually in really good condition like, right now. And it was a little sloppy some places, but for the most part it was really tacky and really nice and grippy. Like, there I tried to hit the jump and I never cleared the thing all day, I just bounced off the end of it and that's, it's not good to bounce off of a jump like that, but I was just trying to, trying to ride my race. There I finally decided to take the rut. It was pretty deep, but it got a lot deeper. So if I remember right, I placed 15th out of like 25 or something. Not too bad. And then this is a uh, Open Sea Moto 2. I forgot to turn my GoPro on on the start, so this is about not quite halfway through the race. And I was really avoiding that rut. And you can see I get past here a lot. Like this, the whole rest of this race, I get past there just because I was staying out of that rut. I was, didn't like it. But, and uh, this is my 450 also. This is my uh, the big bike. The one I'm used to riding, which is kind of odd that I'm more comfortable on my, uh, my new bike. The 250 versus this one, the 450. Let's see, uh, Open Sea Moto 1, I placed. Oh, what did I place? I think 16th? Oh no, wait. No, I was 19th. Never mind, I was 19th out of, uh, there was 30, at least 30 in, in Open Sea class. So yeah, Moto 1, Open Sea, I placed uh, 19th out of 30. And then this was Moto 2, which I think I ended up placing 16th for a 16th overall. It combined your scores from Moto 1 to Moto 2. So overall, I placed 16th in Open Sea out of 30, so about half. I was getting a little closer to the ruts, but I still wasn't really sticking with any of them. Man, that was a mistake going in this one. It was, you can see I almost went down. I really struggled. I think I was jumping this further than most people, though. Most people were just almost coming to a stop right at the top, and I was jumping about three quarters of the way across it. I definitely had the speed to make it, I just never did. I was always too afraid to. And that had such a nice rut going around the outside there. If I had any sort of talent at all, you could hit that rut so easily, but... Well, I don't know about easily, but you could hit it well. But now I was always just out here slipping around, being all scared. And you can see, like, I keep going on the outside on corners. And uh, it doesn't really look like it, but I'm, I'm heading towards the inside on some of these, and then I just get all scared. And, like, here, messed up big time and didn't stay in that right and get passed again. It's really bad. I just slipped out. I think he lost his front end or something. I don't really remember what happened, but I'm sure he's fine. It was just a tip over. keep leaving that inside open and I just kept on getting past there. Just never, never could hold on to it. I 
Like, I really don't have any excuse for not hitting this jump. Just too afraid of it. Once I get that fear going on a jump or for a day, that fear just kind of sticks around. Even that jump face, like it doesn't look like much, but there was ruts going up that jump face and that was all new to me. So like I'm, I'm going into that and I'm scared and trying to make sure I don't get cross rutted and crash over that one. Like it, it looks so simple, but I was, I was really fighting to make that work even. It was really challenging for me being out here on this track and just wasn't ready for it. Shout out to this guy too, uh, 588 I believe his name is, or, or his number, or 558, uh, five, yeah 558 five, that sounds right. He um, opened C Moto 1, he grabbed a big rock out of my uh, my rut on the start. He, he noticed it, I didn't even notice it, he just offered to grab it, and grabbed it for me, so shout out to him, being helpful. go again really slow and slippery through the corner and then here should not have gone outside almost got around me and then I left the inside open again and I'm lucky I didn't get past but yeah 16th out of here and there goes another class taking off and then next up is uh, 250c moto 2 at this point, I was ready to go. So it's the final motos of the day as well. So gate's about to drop. And here, I thought I stalled it, but I didn't stall it. I still don't know what made me think I stalled it, but man, I just thought for sure I stalled it. Felt a lot better at this point. The track was getting. Uh, Really nice and grippy, as you can see through there. It's, it's pretty smooth. Man, I really struggled with these corners all day. It's always taking the outside and just um, inching around them. That really hurt me as far as speed and time throughout the day. That, um, that guy you just saw that was stopped there to the side, 375. He uh, he got a better start than me this moto, and uh, and then he just messed up there. I'm not sure what happened to him, but he messed up, and I got around him. You'll see him here again in a few minutes. He'll pass me back. He's uh, he's pretty fast. I kind of took advantage of that situation and very much held up the guy on the KTM right in front of me, but I, he never caught up to me or passed me again, so I guess I didn't get in his way at all. I don't remember if I ever get around this guy or not. He's hitting these corners better than I do. Oh yeah, he just put some time on me there. And I kept trying to hit that triple, but bouncing over the end of it every time. I finally hit that jump for the day and it wasn't that scary I don't know what I was so worked up about but man, I was just terrified of that thing I'm lucky no one got around me there a really bad choice trying to stay out of that rut
<laughs> there I, I over jumped that tabletop and I almost crashed. I don't know how I didn't crash there actually, but I was fortunate and I didn't go down. Oh, here's a 375 getting back around me. And he'll uh, he'll pull away. Oh, no, he doesn't pull away yet. He messes up and I get around him again. It was kind of fun. Uh, we saw each other way too many times. This moto. Oh, here he is getting around me. You see, he's just he's that much better in the corners than me. Carries a lot more speed around him than I do. And he's taking jumps I'm not taking very well, and yeah. But uh, we'll see him again in a little bit. It's not over yet. lost the front end. Oh, and then this, you saw that uh, KTM rider in the top left of the screen. I was riding out there all by myself for a little while, and then I, I finally saw that rider, and I, I kind of went into chase mode. Even though I was really slow chase mode, I still went into chase mode. Like, let's see if I can get one more position in. I believe this is the last lap, so... Like, man, let's see if I can get this pass made. Here's a 375 again. Crashed on the jump there. Uh, we didn't. I didn't uh, see him again for the rest of the moto. He finished behind me, but he made it through okay, I believe. I was getting a little more speed on that jump, but I never did clear it. Just didn't have my angles right. started following a lot more than I should. I should have been running alternate lines, so if she messed up or or maybe a different line would be faster, but no, I kind of followed and didn't uh, gain quite as much time as I probably could have. And then just slowly inching it around that corner there, <laughs> taking it easy. And here there's kind of a crash, a little bit of a pile up on the finish line corner there. I could have snuck around right through that rut. I let off, I was like, eh, she's trying to make sure she doesn't run anybody over. It's kind of cheap. So I ended up placing ninth, that moto. Uh, 15th, moto one, and uh, ninth, moto two for an 11th overall in 250C. Pretty happy with the results for this being my only my second race ever. A heck of a lot better results than my first race. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I was looking forward to another race in two weeks. Felt good. Absolutely loved this 250 my first time on it. Super fun. Can't wait to be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, a huge shout out to uh, friend Henry and uh, my sister Marie, brother-in-law Danny and their kids. Every, everyone for being there and supporting me and being there for me. Well, thanks to everyone for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all in the next race.